Hello! Today's video is going to be about adding a floppy drive to my project here. So up until this point, if you've seen my other videos, I've mostly booted from the, uh, the USB drive here. Um, then I decided I'd give the floppy a try. I only have an old floppy controller from like a 386. I don't have one that's actually from way back with that, like a PCXT. So for those who haven't seen my videos, uh, the, the main board's pretty simple. It's just kind of a back plane, and it provides uh, a few things like the keyboard, the uh, PC speaker. It's got a clock on here for the, uh, the ISA bus, and it also has the USB built into the main board. And then what I've done is I've created a processor slot here first so that you can plug in whichever processor you'd like to use. So here's a 8088. I'll try this in a minute. I just, I've got a V40 plugged in right now. Uh, I just wanted to use the V40 for demos because it's at eight megahertz. Um, next to the processor slot, as you can see, there's an extension on these cards. And this is not a 16-bit extension. It's just, uh, it's for, you know, pins like the IRQ1 that's not normally on the ISA bus, the hold, the hold acknowledge, reset, a few things like that uh, to provide to the processor. So next to the processor, we plug in our DMA controller. And I just got these finished the other day. So if you're look, or you've been waiting for these, uh, I'll make them available on eBay as either blank cards or complete. If you need a complete one and I don't have one listed, just email me and I'll, I'll uh, get one built for you. So the DMA card is critical to booting the floppy drive. So I've just used the 8237 controller. There's an 8257. I played with it a little bit. I haven't had much luck with it. The pins might be just a touch different. Um, on this, you've got an index register. That's this uh, LS670. Got some decoding in here. Yeah, so we got an LS04 and an LS139. They're just mostly for decoding. And then over here, you've got a LS573. And this is used for the uh, address uh, the 8 through 15 address lines off the DMA controller. You definitely need to read the manual on the 8237 if you want to really understand how it works. Um, so I made it separate. You really don't need this unless you're trying to boot floppy drives or uh, I guess Sound Blaster use them. But everything else I've used does not need this. So let's, uh, let's see here. We've got our, our disk drive. Now I had like a 1.44 megabyte disk and uh, just wasn't having any luck. I figured it was a failure on my system, but then I realized I needed to get 720 kilobyte disks. So I've ordered up some 720 kilobyte disks and installed FreeDOS on one of them. This is just a regular floppy drive. I don't have the really old drives to try, so this is what we're using today. So I'm going to just plug this in, we'll get this kind of configured, and uh, we'll boot it up. All right, so I've got it all together, and uh, we're going to boot it up on the uh, floppy drive. Now, so far it's been fairly successful. Um, you can leave your USB disk in there and... Uh, it mounts it as the C drive and it works just like a normal computer would. Now this does boot a lot slower um, just because it is reading from the, the floppy disk. Now I've had success with the 8088 and I've had success with the V40 but the V20 I've been struggling with for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure what the issue is, whether it's a hardware or software issue. Alright, so there you see we're at the uh, command prompt for the A drive. Just hit the IR here. Uh, 
There you go, you can see it right there. Let's go C colon. There's our C drive. And uh, to make this boot disk, I actually made it with this PC. I uh, The disk was already formatted at 720 kilobytes. And uh, then I just typed sys, A colon, and then I copied over the uh, the keyboard and the auto exec just so that I, I'd have that on there. Um, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can format a disk. I've got a, a disk that I think has gotten corrupt. Let's see if we can start over and make a boot disk. So here's a blank disk. It says it's 720K. Go back to C colon. See what happens if we just type format. See if it detects it as a 720. It says uh, when the right disk is in the drive. Let's try. Doesn't seem to like that. So you can format them on your on your regular PC, and then you can create a boot disk on this one. It looks like. Let's try this again with a different disk. So I had to buy these from uh, from eBay. It cost me about a dollar a disk, which was about as cheap as you get. There were some that were quite a bit more. Got our boot disk back in there. So, so anyway, that's it. Uh, booting with a floppy disk, and uh, so, like I say, if you uh, if you want to get a DMA controller, I'll get them listed on eBay. Um, and then, like, if you want to get a complete one, and I don't have one listed, just email me, and I'll get one put together for you. So, thanks for watching my video today.